So we are done with the arithmetic operators and relational operators, right? Then we had one question. What if you have two relational operators and which will result in true or false, right? Uh, and then you want to combine them. So you want one true or false out of two or three true or false. So what I'm saying is, let's say I have two variables here, which is x, y, and also we have one more combination, which is a and b. And then I want to check if, I mean, I want x to be less than y, and I want a to be greater than b. Uh, this might result in and true and false, or it might result in true and false. What I want is the output of, I, I want is, I want output of this two combined can be either true or false, but I want the combined output, irrespective if they are uh, true or false individually. So how do I combine this? Now to combine these two different conditions, we can use a logical operator in between. Example, uh, this logical operator can be AND, or, I mean, and the second option is OR. So it can be AND and OR. Now what exactly it means? See, if you want that your output to be true, so let's say if, you're out, if you want your output to be true, so you can use, if you can say, hey, you know, I want both of this to be true, then only I want true. Or you can say, if any of this can be true, I want it to be true. Now, this is very important in terms of computation. So when you say your computer is smart, it's because of a computer can decide based on multiple conditions. So to do that, we use something called a logical operators. So what we do is, uh, again, this concept is coming from mathematics. It's not a programming concept. It's coming from mathematics, where uh, you can use something called a AND operator. We can use OR operator, uh, or we can use a NOT operator, which is, which is with exclamation. So the AND operator, in programming, we represent that with the help of AND. And the OR operator, so we use ampersand for AND, and we, we use a pipe for OR. So we can use ampersand, which is and, we can use pipe operator, which is or, or we can use the exclamation mark for not. Okay, so how do we decide what could be the output of two operations? So let's say the first operation gives you true, the second operation also gives you true. So maybe you can come, we can do that with the help of these two conditions. If both are true, then, then what should be the output? So the output will be true. Again, I'm talking about in terms of and operation. If one is true, one is false, it is false. If one is false, I mean the first one is false, second is true, again it is false. And if you want, if you have both of them as false, again it will give you false. Now when you want such type of output, when both, if both are true, then only it should be true, then we can use something called an AND operation here. But what if you have a different set of, my, set of things in your mind? Uh, let me just divide this and the second set would be let's say if the first one is true and second one is also true you will get true if the second one is true so the first one is true second one is false it will give you true if the first one is false second is true it will give you true and if both are false it will give you false if you have a condition or if you have a requirement where if any of them is true then it should be true. So example, if you can see, if any of one, so of course both are true, that's great. But even if, even if you have one true, that's true. Uh, even if you have one true, that's true. Even if you have one true, that's true, right? Uh, but if, if you have both false, then it will be false. Now, if you compare it with this and, when you have both true, it will give you true. If any of them is false, you can see that if there's a false, you will get a false here. So this is your and and or. So that's how you can combine. We have one mode here, which is not. Now, not basically used to reverse the thing. Example, if you have true, and if you want the output to be false, and if you, want, if you have false, and if the output you want is true, then you will apply a not operation. Now, apart from this, we have one mode, which we have not talked about, which is XOR. Again, we'll talk about that in some time. Uh, but then we have three basic operations here. We have AND, OR, and NOT. So basically how you combine this, if you want to do that in programming, of course you can also use AND operator or pipe or you can use NOT directly. Uh, the other option you have is something called a short circuit. So instead of using AND you can use double AND, instead of using OR you can use double OR and NOT is as, as it is, we don't have to do NOTs there. Uh, now what's the use of this? So first of all let's talk about AND. So let's say if you have X, this X is greater than Y and if you say AND here, 
and you can say a is less than b so we have these two conditions here and i want both them to be true and that's where you want the output to be true so example if you have a boolean value which is r here so you can say r is equal to x is greater than y and a is greater than b if in this case if both are true the output is going to be true right but if you what if you use or here so if i remove this and if i put up or here if any of them is true it will give you true as simple as that okay now why do we call it a short circuit the reason is let's talk about or in or see the point is if even if you have one true the output would be true right so if the first condition itself is true it will not even check for the second one beauty right i mean you're you're saving your time that's what is called short circuit you are saving the time you're taking a shortcut and you will say hey then what happens when you have and here so let's say let me put and now in this case even if so let's say the first one is true of course it will check with the second one but what if the first one is false if the first one is false it will not even check with the second one because the output is going to be false right so that is why it is called short circuit okay so from this point we are always going to use short circuits and and or instead of using a single ampersand so it can be you can say double ampersand for and double pipe for or and of course not will remain not so example let's say if you already have a boolean value which is r so i can say r and if, if you want to save that value in s so whatever value of r you will get you will save that in s example if r is t s will be t but what if you put a ampersand here or so but what if you put a exclamation here so in this case if this is true if r is true it will give you false it will give you a reverse value and this is very beneficial when you start working with the uh, project where you have huge you have a data and if you want to do something related to that data so based on the data you will change some you will do something you will change the condition all those stuff okay this thing looks cool here but how will you implement this in the actual code like that's what we're going to see now so if you can see uh, i of course i have to go with the same variables i can say int uh, x is equal to let's say 7 and in fact you know uh, yeah let's let's do it on new line and i will say int y is equal to 5 so we got these two values and then apart from this i want two more variables let's say a and b so i will say int a is equal to 5 again and int b is equal to 9 I'm just getting random numbers here and what I want to do is I want to save the data in a boolean variable so I will say boolean result and let's see what the value you're getting so first I will declare it here and I will also print the value for this okay so basically we are trying to print uh, result here but then I want to perform some operation on this so I can say if x is greater than y okay I'm just checking for one thing and now you know we have done this multiple times I will just compile this code and uh, run and you can see we got true because the value which of x which is 7 is greater than the value of y which is 5 but then i want to put one more condition here and i want both them to be true if i want to get the output as true so what you can do is you can use ampersand double ampersand here and you can say a is greater than b now if you can see the first condition is true okay this will give you true but the second one the second option here will give you false now what do you think is the output think about this and let's see now the output which i'm expecting here is false let's try and yeah we got false is because the first one is false so the first one is true second one is false so in this case you both need to be true example if i make this as less than of course you should not check change your condition you should change your values but just we are learning into we're doing we are learning right so it, it it's fine it's fine now let's compile this code and run and you can see we got true since both are true it's true but what if you use a pipe here now pipe simply means or right so even if you are so let's say both the conditions are true now and both the operations are true run and you can see we got true but what if let me make the first one as false right so you can see we have seven is greater than five so this will be false but the second one is true right but still if you compile this and run and you can see we got true right so this is how you use and and or when you have multiple 
uh, deletion of course you can add more you can also add one more pipe here by saying uh, the value of a should be greater than one that's your choice how many pipes you want to add uh, compile and uh, run and you can see it works uh, so this is how you use and and or what about not operator here so example let's say i will only say a is greater than b now what do you think what the output is so if i compile this code and run and you can see we got false that makes sense right because the value of a is smaller than uh, value of b but what happens just before printing result i'm saying not so whatever result of whatever value of result is we are just we are just doing the opposite of it if this is true it will give you false if it is false it will give you true and if i compile and run you can see we got true it's because this was false the earlier one's false and now when i say exclamation result it will give you true so as i mentioned before it's very important once we go forward towards conditions i mean if else for loops so this multiple conditions or multiple operations which will result in true or false will be very help very helpful now apart from this we have one more which we are going to discuss in the next video